Amen. 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 Let's bow our heads. Kind Father, we thank you this evening. Yes. We thank you for just bringing us to the house of worship yes. one more time. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for how this service has gone thank for us. For blessing our songs, for the testimonies, yes. for the prayer even before the service. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for being us with us throughout thank the you, entire Lord. day. We rebuke the you. hand of accident, rebuke the incident. Yeah. Oh God, even rebuking the hand of death for our sins. Yeah. And with these things we thank, thank you tonight. You. We thank you for your presence. Yes. We thank you for your anointing. Yes. We thank you for your power. Hallelujah. We thank you for your word. We, we thank you for your blood prevailing. Oh my God, we thank you tonight. Yes. Now, Lord, we pray and we ask and do let the words of our mouth yes. and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in our sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank and praise God for being here tonight. Yes. Amen. Amen. On this Thursday night. Amen. Amen. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 I thank God. I love, I love coming to church. Yes. Amen. I love being amongst the saints. Yes. I love hearing the songs of Zion. Amen. Yeah, we sing when we're home by ourselves sometimes. Mm. There's nothing like when the voices of God, mm. the saints of God get together. Yes. Amen. And we praise the Lord. Yes. And we thank him. Amen. For amen. Lifting us up a little higher. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Sometimes we need to be lifted up a little higher. Right. Amen. Not lifted up in pride. I'm talking about just lifted up in encouragement. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And we thank God. Amen. You, you draw strength from one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. And we thank and we praise God for that tonight. Thank yes. God for the testimonies. Yes. Amen. That we've heard on this evening. And uh, I was listening. We had some news even before we got it. We heard about um, District Missionary Mary Ellen Scott. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mother Scott, sweet lady. Amen. Yes. Woman of God. Yes. At one time she was our um, our district missionary in Middlesex yes. District. Mm. Amen. And um. And nevertheless, the Lord called her from labor to reward. Yes. Amen. 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 I remember when her husband passed away. Yes. Amen. I remember before he passed away, when he had, he had an accident with a bus mm -hmm. before that. Amen. But God brought him through that. Amen. Nevertheless, amen. Uh, it is appointed unto man once to die. Yes. And after this, the judgment. Hebrews yes. 9 and 27. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, got news on the way down here. One of my, well, my father and my Aunt Karen's friends. But I worked with him at PSCNG, mm -hmm. fellow by the name of Todd Bell Navis. Amen. He's gone. You know Todd. Mm -hmm. You know, he's gone. Bell Navis, you know, from New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. Very popular family in New Brunswick. But um, mm -hmm. he wasn't he wasn't that old. He was only in his sixties. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we, you know, you never know. Yeah, you, you never know. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, as I stated, it is a point unto man once to die. In other words, we have an appointment. Yes. Amen. Yes. God only knows when. Amen. It could be morning, night, noon. It could be tonight. It could be a week from now, a year from now. But the, 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 the most important thing that we have to make sure that our anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Yes. Amen. Yes. We better make sure we in right standing with God. When it comes time, when he call our name. Because whether the song said, when he called me, I'll answer whether you want to answer or not, you got to go. It, it, when it's time to go, when God sin, when death come creeping in your room, amen, and when, and when, when, when death puts his hands on you and it's time to go into judgment, you got to go. So whatever condition you find yourself in or you're found in at that particular time, that will determine where you spend eternity. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that's why we, my God, we die daily. I'm talking about to the flesh now. We die daily because we want to make it in. The righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? In other words, when they say righteous scarcely, we just going to make it in by the skin of our teeth. If we make it in. Lord have mercy. I was listening to the testimonies. Amen. Even in songs, amen, I am determined to hold out to the end. Uh, they're the determination that saints ought to have. Yes. Yes. Mother Tucker talked about Sunday morning with their flat tire. Mm. You see, a carnal Christian mm -hmm. would have said, well, 
That's a sign from God. Not at all. I, I better not go nowhere. I, I just stay home and I just get on somebody's own meeting. I watch Jimmy Swagger or G.E. Patterson or this, that, the other thing. And I'll stay home. That's a sign from God. You know, but a true child of God, they're going to get to the house of God. You know what I mean? If, if there's no, if there's nothing, you know, uh, uh, existing conditions that prevent them, they're going to get there. Amen. So as children of saints, that's lined up with what I'm going to talk about tonight. Amen. First Corinthians 15th chapter. Book of First Corinthians. Being determined. Amen. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Uh, when you get it, say, man, God bless you. We thank God for Elder Brown. Amen. 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 Thank God for him. Amen. How the Lord blessed even on that Sunday. Amen. Amen. The Lord really blessed. Amen. Amen. We, encourage, we, we hope we encourage his heart. Amen. 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 Wonderful man of God. Amen. Wonderful man. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes, we give honor to him. God. We give honor to uh, Mother Tucker. Amen. 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 Mother Clark. Amen. Evangelist Hare. Our elders. Amen. Elder Marcel. And Deacon Hare. Thank God for Elijah even. Yes. You know, yes. Um, I pulled him right out of the football practice. Right at the football practice, I said, we got to go to church. Dad, can I just go home? I said, no, we're going to church. I need your help tonight. God bless. Amen. God bless. Thank God. God I had to buy him a, a, a number three for McDonald's before we got here for $10. But, you know, it's worth it. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. I mean, not a quarter pounder, a double quarter pounder. That's a half a pound of meat. <laughs> Not counting the fries. Amen. But well, thank God. He's a grown boy. Amen. Be a man very soon. Amen. But thank God. We thank God for all of you. Amen. That are here. Uh, First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, 57th verse says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. As I was listening to the songs and the testimonies, Mother Clark sang, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. But that's if you live right. If you walk right, heaven belongs to you. If you're living and walking right, you're going to talk right. Yeah. Because what's on the inside will manifest yeah. on the outside. Yes. Amen. I believe it was Bishop Patterson once preached a message. It's an inside job. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I don't care how well somebody may look yeah. on the outside. Right. Even how well they may sing or preach or play an instrument or, mm -hmm. or operate in a church. If on the inside, the right thing isn't in there. After a while, it's going to manifest. Yes, right. They're going to tell on their own self. Yeah. Amen? Amen. <laughs> tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. So, if I am in a, God bless you, in a condition, amen, that when trouble comes, yeah. when heartache comes, or when the storms of life come, mm. if I don't have the right thing on the inside, I'm going to fall along the wayside. Yeah. We're living in a day and time where we have so many weak, uh, weak folks. Mm. Uh, it's not that they can't get strong. Mm -hmm. well, they won't. Mm -hmm. Decide to go this far and no further. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's good that when the Lord comes into our services, how God's been blessed, he's been blessing us, thank God. And the spirit of God moves mm -hmm. and everybody can feel the presence of God mm -hmm. and everybody knows that God is moving. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to get a touch from God in one service. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We got to go further than that. Yeah. Yeah. We can't be satisfied with just one touch. Although the touch is uh, from God, Amen. although the touch uh, brings us a little higher, mm -hmm. although the touch encourages us a little more, mm -hmm. there's a job that we have to do. Yeah. When God invests something, he won't touch you for no reason. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's right. And he don't waste his touch on nobody. When God moves, he does it. He has a purpose for everything he does. Mm -hmm. 
God doesn't speak in platitudes. In other words, God don't just say things just to be saying things. Amen. You know, some people just say things just to be saying things, and they're just platitudes, empty words, mm. words without meaning. Just, 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 just talking loud and saying nothing. Yeah. Saying nothing. God don't do that. Yeah. When God speaks, the Spirit of God speaketh expressly, and He has a purpose to why He does what He does. So when God touches us and blesses our souls, amen, it's not just to feel goosebumps all over our bodies. God is encouraging, the spirit of the Lord is encouraging our hearts to go further. The little bit that we do have, maintain that and get some more. I got an aunt, my aunt Connie says, get all you can and can all you get. We cannot afford to lose any ground. We cannot afford to lose any uh, anointing that we have. Yes. I'm not saying we uh, full of anointing and, and glowing when we're walking down the street like the face of Moses. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying with the little bit that we do have, right. keep that and maintain it and get a little, a little more. Amen. Yes. 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 Because the time will come mm. when you're going to need to draw from that strength, amen, that God has given you in times past. Yes. I know the Bible says, with joy we draw water from the well of salvation. All right. Mm -hmm. All right? If you don't have joy, how are you going to draw? Amen. 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 We need to draw because there's a time going to come when we're going to get thirsty, spiritually amen. thirsty. And we got to have the joy on the inside to be able to draw and grow stronger in the Lord. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. That is the ingredients, those nine ingredients in the fruit. Amen? Amen. Joy is the second. Love is the first. But if we don't have joy, a child of God, so-called, without joy, is a miserable individual. Amen. How do I know? Because they're even worse off than the world that has no joy. Yeah. Because a child of God who at one time was in touch with God and had joy, if they lose the joy, they're worse off. Yeah. Because they've experienced a walk with God. They've experienced a move of God. They've experienced the miracles of God. How God brought them through and how God made ways and how God opened doors yeah. for them. But then when they lose their joy, if you lose your joy, when the test comes and when the fire comes and when the trial comes, you can't stand. And eventually you'll be in a backslidden condition. You can't even draw water from the wells of salvation. You can't draw strength. You can't, my God, you're in a melancholy, opaque state. You can't. And then what happens is you move from the front row to the middle of the church, from the middle of the church to the back row, from the back row out the door. And you're in a backslidden state and you're worse than the people in the street. At least some of them they never even heard of this. But it's better off that we have not even heard than to hear and to go back. He that put his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. What causes a person to lose their joy? True. Think about it. Hold on. Take your eyes off the ball. What? 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 We were on fire. We loved the Lord. We were in service. We were reading the Word. We were had a prayer. Oh, that's what it is. The first thing that happens that makes a person backslide is we lose our prayer life. Amen. I'm not saying you stop praying altogether, but you lose a prayer life. Lord have mercy. Become complacent and satisfied in the place, spiritual place that you're in. The lady from Philly, they asked the preacher after you want prayer, she said, no, I'm as high as I can go in God. That was a big mistake she made. Because somebody, if, if those words even come out of your mouth, you already backslidden. Because you're in a a, 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 you're in a, a, a arrogant, heady, high-minded place. 
No joy, no peace, no uh, prayer life. Because if you had a prayer life, there's some things that we just won't do. Yeah. So then all of these things, the enemy is shrewd. The devil ain't stupid. He may be crazy, but he ain't stupid. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. He's been around a long time. Mm. Mm. He has many ways to get us to backslide. Right. He has many ways to discourage the saints of God. Right. He has many ways to slip in if we let him mm. to take our joy. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So, it behooves us to keep our prayer life so that we cannot be ignorant of his devices. Therefore, if we keep our prayer life and we're not ignorant of the enemy's devices, we know when he, we can sense and discern when the devil's trying to do something. But if we keep our prayer life, we we'll, won't lose our joy. Mm -hmm. this, there were times, and I'll admit, I must admit, there were times that I felt discouraged. But down on the inside, yeah. on the inside, yeah. you know, I, 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 the Spirit of God beckoned me and it admonished me. Mm. My God, if, if, if you don't have joy, if you're still slipping, you better leap for it. Yeah. You better start to encourage yourself yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. Because we can't be in the church building and devotional service and praising God 24-7. Yeah. We got to live this life on the outside. Yeah. And there's going to be plenty of times when you're on the outside and you can't get in touch with nobody but God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. There's going to be times when you're going to have to draw water from the well of salvation. Yeah. There's going to be times when you have to reach down on the inside. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There have been times I sat there by myself and clapped my hands. I, didn't, I wasn't feeling nothing before. But I started clapping my hands. And God said, come on, come on. I talk to myself like that. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up from there. And after a while, my God, the presence of God, my God, after a while, the spirit of God come in the room. After a while, my God, the power of God taught to bless my soul. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And my God, the feeling I felt, even though I was in the same situation, but I was up a little higher. Now, now I can go through. Now I can go through. Because I got the joy of the Lord. I'm talking about, listen, the reason why we have the victory, because that 57th verse says, but thanks be to God. We're thanking God. Why? Because he gives us the victory through our Lord, Jesus Christ. That's the only way you will have victory is through Jesus Christ. Okay. It's not through denomination. It's not through ecclesiastical status. It's not through money. It's not through houses. It's not through land. It's not through boyfriend, girlfriend. It's not through mother, father, sister, brother. It is through our Lord, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Because these other things are just temporal. Yeah. My mother needs to get joy sometimes. My brother needs to get joy sometimes. Some of the saints need joy sometimes. Right. Amen. Some trust in horses and others in chariots, but I will put my trust in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank thank you. Lord. So now we know, thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now I can go to the next verse. Because I have Christ in my life, because I testify of his goodness, because, yes, I go through, yes, you go through, but because Christ is on the inside, we can encourage ourselves. Yeah. My beloved brother, be ye steadfast. Yeah. In other words, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible says the Lord will lift up a standard against him. When the devil comes into your house, when the devil comes trying to come into your mind and speak things to your mind and try to bring you down, you got to be steadfast. Loose here in the name of Jesus. Get out, God, God, bind you out of my mind. Get out of here in the name. I am a child of God. I am bought with the price, yes. the precious blood of Jesus. As a matter of fact, I plead the blood right now. You got to talk to the devil. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You have to uh, uh, straightly talk to. Don't fool around with him, but you put the word on him. You plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, because he's going to try to throw you off track and make you not be steadfast. Yeah. I, it, it bothers me when I see some people 
amen, uh, in the church. One day they're this way, one day they're that way. I disagree with Mother Clark, but Mother Clark gave me a thousand dollars, then when then I, now I agree with her. Just un, un, unstable in all their ways, talking out of all three sides of their mouth, and and, and just 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 one day this way and the other day that way. They're not steadfast. No. One day I believe that Jesus is the only way to God. Another day I believe you can go through anybody to get to God. There's many roads to heaven. Amen. Just unstable. Amen. The Bible says, be ye steadfast. I don't care if they pick on you. Oh, he, he old fashioned. Oh, she old fashioned. And he, they just too old fashioned. And this is a new day. You need to come up with a new time. You need to uh, my God, I agree some things you need to modify, but you don't compromise the word of God. Amen. There is no compromise. There is no room. There is no wiggle room yes. with holiness. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is no sometimey way in holiness. It's either it's cut and dry. It's either right or it's wrong. It's either light or it's darkness. It's either sin or it's righteousness. There is no in between. Unmovable. Be consistent. Be consistent. Thank you, Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Abounding doesn't mean being idle. Because we know the Bible says the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Amen. You be idle and watch and see what happens. Thank you, Lord. We have to maintain our salvation. Go get a Go to Ray Katina and get a, a brand new Mercedes. You, if somebody gave you a million dollars and you purchased the most expensive Mercedes on the lot, I think it's about $160,000, a brand new Mercedes, that particular type, $160,000, beautiful car. They even give you gas for it. The oil, everything is good. But you don't maintain that Mercedes and watch and see what happens. Amen? The oil must be changed. Yeah. After a while, the tires got to be changed. Yeah. After a while, the brakes got to be changed. Yeah. After a while, the transmission fluid has to be changed. After the light bulb blow out, a light bulb has to be changed. You have to maintain that. Amen. So it's the same principle as a child of God. We're born again. We're sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, on fire for God. You got to maintain that fire. Yeah. You can't let the fire go out. And the hotter the fire is, the harder it is to put out. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you Lord. I remember I was in my backyard, and um, I told y'all this before, but I'm going to say it again. I had a tin garbage can, and um, we lived in Yardville. And um, we had the, uh, that year we bought a, a real Christmas tree, real tree. And I didn't know. Nobody ever told me those trees were flammable. I mean, I never, if they did, I never paid attention. So after Christmas, it was, it was like in January. They wouldn't take it on the garbage. I said, well, in my neighborhood, you can burn things. I said, I'll just burn it. Along with, you know, the rest of the wood that some of the junk I got. So I, got, I had my tin can. And the tree was too big to put in because I put it in and it fell over. So what, I, what, do I, what do I do? I cut it in half. Smart, I'm smart. Cut it in half and burn it. Man, I put the half in the, the, the flame was already, it was low. I put that thing in the can, and whoosh, that thing shot up that flame, shot up. I said, whoa, it was like a rocket. Because the tree is flammable. The the uh, the turpentine or whatever that, that's, that's in it, that, that, that burns houses down, if you're not careful. My daughter, Michaela, she was about 10 years old. She said, whoa, daddy. Do it again. <laughs> I said, well, what do I do listening to a 10-year-old kid? I do it again. I get the other half. It, it scared me half to death. But she was amazed by it. I put it in there. Roof, that thing shot up. I said, man, that is awesome. Mm. I burned Put some up. So now the fire is hot. My tin can, is, it starts, you can see waves on it. That thing was hot. Everything around it was burning up. Everything around it, the grass, was burned up. I threw some other stuff in there. Burned that up. At the end of the night, later on, hours later, I said, you know what? 
on the top it was ashes in there, but on the top it was black. I said, well, I'll just I'll dump this. So I had a shed, I had a shed in the backyard, oh, a, a wooden shed. And the, the, the what do you call it, those grasshoppers, not grasshoppers, the um, gophers, they dug, they had a little thing underneath. So it was a hole. I said, I'm gonna just fill these holes in with this ash. So this ash, I said, all right. Dumped it in and I walked away. Jesus. And I was doing something else in the yard. And out of the corner of my eye, matter of fact, check the, this, was the, this was the next day I went out to dump it. The next day, I went to dump it under there. I said, it's fire, ain't no smoke coming out. Just, I put it under there and went to go burn some more stuff and it was getting dusk. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw an orange light. I said, what is that? And I'm looking and I'm walking. Now it was about maybe 20 something degrees outside, but it was an orange light underneath where I dumped them ashes. I'm looking, I said, oh my God! The, the, and it started, it started, it started smoking. Mm. I said, oh my, them ashes were still on fire. Mm. So I, I run back to the house to get the, uh, the hose, mm. and, the, and the hose was, it was so cold outside. Mm. I'm running back and forth, oh my, I'm gonna burn the shit down, oh my, I got my stuff in there. I'm running back. My God, and eventually, I think I had to get a shovel. I dug and, and brought the stuff out, brought from back, you know, from out. And um, I said, my God, and I thought about that. That fire was so hot, no matter what I did to it, a day later, it was still burning. We should not take the opportunities that we spend with God or the time that God, the spirit of God works on us. We shouldn't take those things lightly right, right. and for granted. When the Lord wakes you up in the middle of the night to give you a word or, to, or when the Lord moves in the service and the window of opportunity is open and the water is being stirred, get in it mm -hmm. and get all you can out of it. Right. Because the hotter your fire burns, the harder it is to put out. Right. That's why I'm trying to say Amen. So then when the fire is burning, even when it seems like it's going out, when it seems like you can still have some strength to draw from on the inside, the Spirit of God will give you strength. Amen. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. In other words, always rowing in God. Not idle, not just setting there. Not just satisfied with the speaking in the tongues. And not just satisfied with uh, 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 John 3.16 Good scripture but there's more to the Bible Than that Alright there's more to the word of God Than that not just satisfied with speaking in tongues Speaking in tongues is the tip of the iceberg For the, for the, um, the ministry of the Holy Ghost There are other Things that God desires To impart unto us but we gotta Be willing to go uh, the distance You see what I'm saying Put the work in put your time in What we say payday is coming After a while Put your time in. Thank you. Because somebody needs to hear the word of God. Somebody is looking for a true, authentic move of God. Somebody is looking for a child of God. Somebody that can get a prayer through. And we can't get a prayer through playing around and being satisfied with the status quo. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If the gospel be hidden, it is hid to them that are lost. But we must, you must, I must, amen, be in the right place with God that when God brings somebody our way, we're able to pray, not only pray, but to pray them through. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Not only to minister, but, and, and to, to speak word, but to speak under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And not have to be standing behind here to do it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To be able to, my God, when somebody is in trouble, they call, and, and they don't have to pick the phone to call you. The Holy Ghost wake you up in the middle of the night. Amen. Put them on your heart and you go in a spiritual warfare form. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's God. That is what God desires for us to have. Yeah. A relationship with him yeah. that's pleasing unto him. Use me, Lord, in thy service. Draw me nearer every day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I'll you, be willing to run on all the way. But Lord, along the way, if I falter, while I'm trying, don't be angry. Thank you, Lord. And don't be angry with me, Lord. But just, just, just let me stay. I, in my, in my heart, in my mind, in my heart, I'm willing to run on 
all the way. That's what God wants. I'm determined to walk with Jesus. That's what God wants. I got a flat tire, but I got to get to church. That's what God wants. I don't feel well in my body, but, but I got to hear the songs and the sound of Pentecost. I've got to feel the presence of God. I've got to hear the word of God. I'm not satisfied with the television station. I want to be in the house of God. Yeah. i got to get there. I must by all means keep the feast at Jerusalem. i got to get to the church. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I've got to be determined in my heart. Hallelujah. Steadfast in my mind to go all the way with the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All the way. All the way. There is no half stepping. It's all the way. All the way with God. The Bible says, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. You may be the only one in the church to show up, but it's not in vain. You may be the only one that God wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, but it's not in vain. You may be the only one that God shows you certain things and uses you in certain ways, but it's not in vain. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. I thank God. I just wanted to encourage everybody. Jesus. Be determined. Yeah. Even more determined. Yes. Even more so. Amen. 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 And watch and see. Amen. Watch and see what God do for you. Let's bow our heads. Confer